I still don't understand, Doctor. When Whitaker first pulled that switch, was time reversed or wasn't it? Well, it was for the world outside the force field. Your time was just frozen for a few seconds. But what about you? Oh, no, don't tell me. You're a time lord. Quite. <laughs> Poor Grover. The man was mad. Yes, well, of course he was mad. But at least he realised the danger that this planet of yours is in, Brigadier. The danger of it becoming one vast garbage dump inhabited only by rats. It'll never happen, Doctor. It's not the, the oil and the filth and the poisonous chemicals that are the real cause of pollution, Brigadier. It's simply greed. Hmm. Well, I've got work to do, writing my deposition for General Finch's court-martial. Excuse me, sir. What about Captain Yates? Extended sick leave. A chance to resign quietly. Best I could do. Well, Mike. Come on, Benton. Still, I'll say one thing. Not many sergeants get the chance to punch a general on the nose. <laughs> Just don't make a habit of it, Benton. Well, there you are, Sarah. I told you I'd get you home safely, didn't I? Oh, all the cheek. Well, it's not my fault if people get up to no good while we were away. Alien monsters, robber barons, then dinosaurs. It'll be a long time before I get in that TARDIS again. Oh. That's a pity, that. Why? Well, um, I was rather thinking of making a trip to Florana. Where? A Florana. Probably one of the most beautiful planets in the universe. Well, count me out. It's always carpeted with perfumed flowers. I'm not listening. And at seas there is warm milk. And the sands are soft as swans down. No, Doctor. The streams flow with water that are clearer than the clearest crystal. <laughs>